Sorry about the scenes there, but hey guys, what's up? We're back at it again with another live stream, so I hope you guys are here to enjoy some more content that I have for you. We're going to be going over the um, the bender I have first, which I have made some progress on. It's still a work in progress, obviously, but I'll show you guys what's up with that, as well as the Define S unboxing. So I'll get that out for you guys on stream. This will be my first live unboxing, so I guess you can laugh at me if you want. should be interesting at least. But without further ado, like I said, the bender here. Uh, let me see if I can get the right scene now. Oh, wow. I'm pretty good. So the bender is here. Well, kind of. It's mostly here. <laughs> I just uh, picked up some random MDF at uh, Menards yesterday, which is actually just shelving MDF, oddly enough. But I think it should work out, and like it kind of already has a finish, so it looks whatever. Obviously, I can just get regular MDF and paint it if that's the way it's going to be. But for now, a prototype, this will do just fine. So I guess, first off, I can prove the, the concept, or you know, give you guys proof of concept here. So I'm just going to hook up the leads. As you can see, I've got the nichrome wire. Let's see if you can see over there. I got the nichrome wire with the spring. Um, if I could zoom in, I would, but it's going to be difficult. Uh, it's holding the, the tension on the nichrome wire, so when it heats up and expands, uh, it doesn't sag and then start to short out. Sorry about the camera, guys. Um, so that's all set up, and then I've got the other end attached uh, via this wire, and then I've got it to my power supply. We're going to take the positive side of the power supply here and just connect it directly to the nichrome wire. The wire I use is, where did I put it? It's right here. So this is just stuff I got on Amazon. Um, pretty cheap stuff, just 26 gauge nichrome wire. Now the reason it's 26 gauge is because the power supply I'm using is only, oh, let me move the mic for you. <laughs> but the power supply I'm using is only five amp output, which it actually doesn't even do five amps, but it gets pretty close and 26 gauge is about the thinnest you can go to where it'll actually produce enough heat with that much electricity going through it uh, in order to melt the plastic. Now, if I were to get like a 10 amp power supply, I could probably, you know, go with some maybe like 18 gauge, but I'm going to test that in the future and I'll let you guys know how that goes. But here we go. We'll just power on the power supply here and hope it works. It seems to be expanding and now we've got a nice hot wire. So in theory, this should have been plastic. As, as I said, it's just a uh, work in progress still. Um, I will obviously need to attach these hinges. And then as you can see here, we got the two boards and then you got yourself a bender right there. But once I get that all put together, I'll give you guys a better update. Um, as far as I can tell, it works for the most part uh, and it should work. Let me get the chat up here. I minimized uh, the live chat. Sorry if you guys are asking questions. One moment. But let's see. Um, thanks for joining, Matt. So I don't know. You guys can keep following this. Uh, as far as like materials go, like I said, I just have the MDF. I'm going to turn this off so I don't burn myself. And then uh, this is just half inch aluminum U channel. So this is all stuff that I just picked up at Menards, pretty easy and cheap stuff. Um, just a four inch hinge here. And then as far as putting the bolts in the wood, I just use these uh, screw inserts. These are 1024, I think, inch long bolts. Came with the nuts as well. Um, and then just some copper wire, the nichrome wire, and a couple of wood screws. Uh, I got to get a couple of wood screws so I can screw this board down to the baseboard here. But overall, as you can tell, I kind of reduced the dimensions from my bender, which weighs like a million pounds and would not be very friendly for a lot of you. Um, but overall, this is still like a 30 inch bending area in total. So hopefully with the hinges on, you can still get at least a good two foot bend, two foot bend out of it, which should suffice for most any project in my opinion, I guess if you need a longer one. I'm showing you guys how to make them. It just takes it to be a little bit longer. So I guess that's the update. If anybody has any more questions on the bender, feel free to ask. I'd love to answer them. Um, yeah, Matt is from Cable Modders, dude. 
Two's faster shipping. Yeah. But let's move on, and you guys can ask questions as we go about the bender or about the case. So I'm going to do the unboxing now. Let me see if I can get this scene right. Um, so we're going to use this camera because the table camera just is not at a good angle. So we got the case in yesterday, and I've been waiting to unbox it with you guys. So let's have at it, I guess. Like I said, this is my first live unboxing, so bear with me. Let's hope I don't break anything at least. Shouldn't be too hard. Need shipping labels. <laughs> okay, got through the hard part where I could lose a finger, and I didn't. I think Hank would prefer if I did, though. So, how are we gonna get this beast out of here? I'm gonna have to move the chair here. So there we go. She's out of the box. Now to get it the rest of the way out so we can actually take a look at it. And I hope to talk with you guys about some of the mods that I'm going to be doing. I've already got some ideas in my head and I saw you guys' comments on the post I made about it. So I definitely have all those ideas floating around as well. Just kind of waiting to make official plans once I got it here and got my hands on it because it is always hard to like judge a mod without having the case in your hands let's see you guys still can't really see it I'm gonna work on getting uh, at least one more camera so I can get one more angle but bear with me for the time being guys so here it is let's see I don't know if the table will actually work or not I can just hold up my lap I suppose <laughs> but First off, I guess I was going to do a front panel mod for it. Um, as you can see, it's just, you know, brushed aluminum. Actually, it's plastic, but it looks like brushed aluminum. <laughs> so this should be a pretty simple mod. As far as I can tell, I was going to show you guys my idea. But basically, I was just going to take a piece of plexi or acrylic, and um, I was going to mount it to this front panel here, probably about a half inch off with some just nice standoffs. And I could cut out behind it, which would improve airflow, although I don't think the... Finesse really has that many issues with airflow. So just kind of more of a cosmetic mod. And I was going to ask Jeremy, I'll put that over there. I was going to ask Jeremy down at the shop to etch and cut me a custom panel for the front. So it would be pretty simple because I could just add uh, this custom etching. Let me see if I can pull it up for you guys. So I was going to get this in like some smoked transparent acrylic. I thought that would look pretty interesting. Um, I would have the circuit board traces actually cut out, so it would essentially improve airflow some more, although I don't know how much it needs it, like I said. But, and then get the logo etched in the front, and with the smoked acrylic, I think if you had some like LED fans behind it, on your front radiator or whatever you have up there, it would kind of help bring it and glow a little bit and bring out the etching. So, that's my first initial idea. <laughs> don't drop it. I didn't drop it, Cody. I'm not Linus. So that's the front panel mod. I know people will probably want to see a PSU shroud, which shouldn't be that hard. I was going to mention maybe I could do that on Friday if uh, the dyes don't come in time. Because on Friday, I do plan on getting the dyes in from Mayhem's. Or Hank sent me some dyes from Mayhem's. I'm going to test them on stream for you guys and kind of just try out some colors. You guys can see what you like and see if these are any colors that you would want to use in your loop and that way you don't have to buy all the dyes and test it but if those don't come in time i could easily probably start whipping up a psu shroud for you guys i can use my bender that one obviously works and i can show how that all works um but other than that uh, i heard you guys wanted to see a reservoir wall which is pretty doable i mean i can easily just like cover it with acrylic and you know clean it up but I think some people want to see like an actual custom reservoir, which will take a little bit of work, but I think it's doable. <laughs> Here, sorry, wrong scene again. But a uh, custom reservoir wall will take a lot of work as far as 
actually making it watertight and not like just leak everywhere and make a mess and not be functioning. Um, I talked with Jeremy more about it and it is doable without like actually a CNC machine because really you should like, if you're going to make like a distribution plate, especially you need a CNC to actually like mill out the acrylic or plexi, whatever you decide to use. But I don't really have that kind of a tool at my disposal. So I'm going to work with what I have and hopefully you guys can kind of get some ideas for some mods for yourself out of it. You know, maybe if it is a fail, you can at least not do what I did. <laughs> But other than that, guys, I guess keep commenting on this stream about anything that you would want to see as far as mods go. Um, <laughs> I guess I don't know where else to go with this. If you guys do have any other questions, there's always our Discord that we have up. I'm usually in there, you know, most hours of the day. So if you have any questions for PPCs, that's a great way to get in touch with us. Obviously, the group is another great resource for you guys. I hope that I get some more feedback throughout the week about some different mods that we can do for this case because it is all kind of for you guys to just see what we can do with a case that I, I picked it just because I figured it was like an average consumer case. Uh, I see Will already said in chat that he has one and he wants to mod it. So in that situation, it should really help him get some ideas. But for the rest of you, just, you know, modding in general and seeing what you can do with just any particular case is pretty useful. So I hope that you guys can enjoy that comment. What is the cost of the material for the bender? Oh, Matt, thank you for that question. That's a great question because it is actually really cheap. I mean, I bought the bolts and they were, it was probably like $3 for a pack of 100. And then U channel is maybe a dollar or two. The MDF, I got like three sheets with for like 250 each. And you could actually just use two if you wanted, if you actually you know, conserved your materials properly. I didn't. But overall, I would have to say it would easily be, like the bender itself will be less than $20 of material, no problem. Uh, the more expensive part comes from the power supply, which I can link you guys in chat which power supply I use. It's actually a pretty cheap power supply. That's why it hardly even puts out five amps. But the, that one is about like $35 or $40. And then I found a model that should work pretty well. It's a 10 amp model. And that one's like 50. So that's where your cost kind of comes in for the vendor is because there's really no way around getting um, a variable power supply like that. You really kind of need that. If you have one laying around, like if you had a, uh, testing equipment, then I guess you're kind of in luck. But other than that, you have to purchase one. And that's where the cost is mainly going to come from. As well as shipping it. But hopefully I can make it a decent size as to where it doesn't break the bank just to ship the thing. It's all a work in progress, though, and any, like, feedback you guys have for the bender, I would love to hear it. Uh, I'll keep posting pictures throughout the week as I work on this more and get it more finished up, or at least the prototype finished up. But any feedback from you guys on what you want to see out of the bender would be greatly appreciated. And, like I said, as well as the mods. But you guys can always find us on the social media links down below there. So hit us up there. We want to see more people in the Discord. It is pretty active, but Hank wants to see some good 500 members in the Discord. So we got to work on making it more popular in there. We really like helping everyone out. There is lots of useful people. So if you have any questions, feel free to stop on by. Other than that, though, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed the stream. Um, I believe I'll be back Friday, same time. Uh, if noon works for you guys, I did that poll, and noon seemed to be the unanimous answer. Maybe not unanimous, but it was by far the leader. Top panel mod. Will Wilson asked for a top panel mod. A 420 rad. Ooh. I could definitely... That, that, that could be doable. I'll have to you know, dig into the case some more, and we can work on that. That sounds like a fun mod, Will. Thanks for that. Um, I'll have to write that one down. Um, I lost my train of thought already. But Friday, that's right. So Friday, the stream should be either Mayhem's Dies if they come in time, or else I will be doing, I think, a PSU Shroud, or I can at least start on the front panel mod, um, depending on where those plans go. I'll just have to work with the case today and tomorrow, and see what I can come up with, but I'll keep you all posted, and I hope you guys can catch the stream again on Friday. Um, don't forget that I'll also, I'm also recording this, so it will be on YouTube, and I'll be able to link you guys uh, in the group, as well as our other social media platforms, as to where to find that video. So if you do miss the stream, or you guys are just stopping in now, 
you can catch it on YouTube. It may not be live, but you'll still see what everyone else saw. But I hope you guys enjoyed it today, and I'll catch you on Friday.